I am Biplav Srivastava, a professor at the AI Institute and Department of Computer Science and Engineering at University of South Carolina. The ChatGPT is a piece of technology which tries to predict what words people say in a similar situation. So think like the autofill on your computer or on your phone. However, it does not blindly just put out whatever it comes to its model. It has a procedure by which it was trained or fine-tuned so that people have provided additional input and which it incorporates into its training method. There is a little bit of a smartness in the way it is trained. It is trained on uh, uh, people providing inputs on what kind of output is, is uh, desirable and not, and that it incorporates back into its training program. OpenAI was formed on the premise of accelerating AI development, core AI technology development, which can help people. So to that extent, it's great. And it uh, started off uh, publishing papers and making its uh, tools available. There are multiple trends which has allowed a technology like um, ChatGPT and uh, large language model, which is the underlying technology behind ChatGPT, the chatbot, uh, to actually have uh, come into existence. One of them is a uh, lot of data which is available online, things like Wikipedia, uh, lots of online forums, uh, books which are available. Uh, they represent what people converse in or they talk about in a daily conversation. The second thing is the computing power, which has become quite inexpensive. And then, of course, there is the technology and uh, programming paradigm in which a lot of innovation is happening online. A lot of source code is available, so the entry barrier for creating technologies like this has become much simpler or, and, and accessible than it was ever before. Google search came in. You need, didn't need any training. In fact, one of the good things about Google was that there was a search bar and you could just type whatever you want. Okay, the system would try to figure out and otherwise it would uh, give you whatever nonsense re results. Uh, but it was actually um, uh, validated based on these things. On ChatGPT, I would say that people should do whatever they want. Let the system adapt to it. And if they find value, then why not? But it is really sad that people are finding value in technology, but not in other people. So please use it, test it. And I would consider ChatGPT um, as, 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 a, as a stereotypical example of where the technology is today. So please beat the heck out of it. And that actually empowers the researchers and the whole uh, tech community. So I would not like to constrain the user. That really shows that the technology is not there. So the biggest trap which I see is that we fall into uh, uh, this sense of trust which is misplaced. We as humans, we trust as soon as we are getting 80-90% of the information, fine. But as soon as you are looking at information and you are using it in life and death situations and situations where our whole governance is, uh, platforms or our whole ecosystem is getting there, we need to be very thoughtful. We can't just be believing anyone. That is why the research, which is built on the whole idea of reproducibility, you need to publish, you need to have, be open to verification. And that is not to say that the technology is not good. The technology is great. But from going from good to great and stupendous, which we can rely on every day, like electricity, it's a long haul. Five years from now, I, I imagine that this technology will help bring people together. So you want to know about astronomy, you want to know about elections, you want to know about a disease. It actually gets you started. So there is immense need of information for people. Any technology which can help it, uh, provide that uh, is, is good. So I've, to that extent, I, I think this will be very helpful. On the other hand, how this information is made available and in a trusted manner would, would define how it is actually used. Since this is about information and information it is coming up to you, please demand how did you get to that answer? Transparency, provenance, where did you get that information? Please evaluate if this information is good for you versus anything alternative you might have. ChatGPT and the work that OpenAI has done, it is fantastic. It's a great piece of engineering. It has brought attention of uh, the whole community. This is the uh, iPhone moment. The, when the iPhone came out, 
pieces of technology were already there um, uh, by Apple. And yet, it actually excited everyone. New terminologies came in like apps, which no one had thought about before. So it is a very exciting piece of technology. On the other hand, with great power comes great responsibility, as uh, some smart people have said. And here it is important that we don't take this out of uh, context. It is like someone having a smart uncle or aunt who can give their opinion on almost everything. And yet, they are just opinions.